Hey everyone, welcome to another video tour of the tiny house, or as we call it now, the pod. We've come a long way. Let me get the door here. We made this little door curtain here with a built-in draft stopper at the bottom. It really helps out with the draftiness of the window and the door. And this is our built-in cubby right here. This is one of the things that we most recently finished. So it provides us with a lot more uh, storage space and it's just really nice to look at and gives a really cozy feeling. Um, one of the things that we just finished was this bench right here. So these pillows, we're not sure if we're going to keep them. Um, if I do, I'll quilt, I'll quilt cover them to match the curtains. Um, but as you can see, when we don't want it to be a love seat, we take it up and this is actually going to be a tabletop. We're going to screw legs into it that you can unscrew when you don't need them. And it'll sit right here and there'll be like a kind of like a little kitchenette seating. Um, we're playing with the idea of extending these seats out. We just didn't want the boxes to go all the way out, but we may have some sort of overhang here, just because it is kind of a shallow seating area. But that's what's going to be our uh, table and lounge area. As you can see, we've got a lot of storage space that we've built in here, so we've got not a lot of nice cupboards with uh, all the snap joints, so even when we're moving the house around, the cupboards won't be slamming open and closed. Uh-oh. Booby trap. Dan. Sweatpants. Um, as you can see, the bookcase right behind you, that's all complete now, so it's kind of like a little office, office center here. I'll get that out of the way eventually, but you have a computer up here. I just recently took down the uh, time-lapse camera, so I'm going to be putting that film together soon. It's going to be exciting. That's going to have every last moment of it from the start. Bear trailer on up to what we see now. So I'm going to be looking forward to that. <clears throat> and what's this white thing on the wall over here? Oh yeah, this is a, this is our eco heater. It's a ceramic heater. It's just like a, just looks like a tile and it actually gets pretty hot. You can touch it, uh, but if you held your hand on it, it would, it would definitely start to burn it. It uses about 400 watts of electricity and it can comfortably heat this house uh, to temperatures of about 25 to 30 degrees. If we go below 25 degrees then we have to make use of the oil filled radiator style heater we have over there. That's also electric. Um, we are really toying with different ideas to heat the house not using electricity because we are going to be moving to a solar power system and that would take up a lot of battery power to use an electric heater. So we've been looking at this uh, kind of concept right here. This is just a little planter heater. We saw a guy online who was using this to heat a room, one room studio. I can see how it would heat like a smaller space, but our space is definitely too big for this. But what he did is you put a couple of uh, either a bread pan, just some kind of little brickade there, and you have your tea lights. You have those lit. You put this first uh, teapot on there and that holds a lot of the heat. This gets very, very hot. Then you also have this one on top with the hole open, so airflow naturally comes through and it gets pretty hot, the air that's coming out. And it would probably heat one of the smaller areas uh, under the loft here. Um, so as you can see, we're moving towards the kitchen. This is the closet door, and we have a full-length mirror. So you can see this is our closet space. We definitely have it every last square inch used, which is nice. We have two racks of clothing in here, and then a shelf with all kinds of baskets and different clothes and stuff. And then this is our, our stair step storage. We're gonna have a ladder that goes right through here. Um, we just need to finish a few details about it. This is the under stair storage, so we kind of have pantry stuff. Those are some water bricks, how we uh, store our water as we need it. This is what we use for a fridge. It's a little electric cooler uh, by Coleman. One of those ones that you can even plug in in your car. So it's a, a pretty small space, but we've learned to just, you know, <coughs> eat the types of foods that don't require refrigeration or just eat fresh. So it's actually been a, a good thing. This is our stove in our little kitchen. We got our spice rack and all these other areas here. I, I liked all the colorful shelves. I like to have color in my life, so. I'm throwing it in wherever I can. And then these are our propane gas cooktop. We just have like a little barbecue propane tank outside and that's what's actually feeding this stove top. So we are able to cook meals just like anyone else. It's awesome. 
And this is what we use for our sink right over here. It's actually just a stainless steel bin. It doesn't even have a drain in it. Um, we just heat water up when we need to do the dishes. We also rinse the dish over this and then we put them on a dish rack. And then when we're done, we just dump the water outside in the woods because it's just technically gray water. Um, right over here is the bathroom. A little history, a lot of this wood in here is reclaimed from a barn that was built in 1776, so we've really strived to try and use reclaimed, reused, recycled materials wherever possible. Um, coming into the bathroom here, as you can see it's a pretty snug space. I'll take the camera for a sec. And right here you can see this is actually a reclaimed door that we got uh, from my dad's. I painted it yellow because it was a really dark brown stain and it uh, it just made this place look really dark and a lot smaller than it was. So the yellow really brightened it up. This is our composting toilet. As you can see it's kind of like a bench in here and it's just a, a sawdust compost and the mixture of carbon to nitrogen is what really uh, keeps the smell from happening and it's just a natural composting process we just take the bucket out like once a week and we have a composting pile and in about a year it's good for adding to soil for like your bushes and trees and stuff here take the camera again I'll open up the bottom you can see here we have like a little just a pop out bench so it makes it really easy to open that up and change those things out but now I can show you up into the loft We both have our own ways of getting up here. <laughs> Dan's is a lot more interesting than mine. But as you can see, I've got all my little curtains up. Just recently hung all my scarves. But this is our little bedroom area. And it's actually pretty cool because without even knowing it, when we built this bookshelf here, we kind of added a little bit of privacy. And the way the lights are set up, they don't really shine into this area. So we have this nice little cubby for where our heads are resting. And it just kind of gives you the feeling that it's a completely different room. And it actually feels that way too because it's a totally different view up here. I love being up here. So that's the tiny house so far. We still have a few little projects to go. Uh, we need to put the drawers in the kitchen. And then once we have our drawers in, we'll be able to really finally organize where things are going to go. Um, but we'll keep you updated.